32 minutes past the hour. Now, want to raise money? The cities and states strapped for cash across the country are trying to get creative. Indeed, they are. How would you like to own your own ferry boat? 85 years old. How about the 1993 McDonnell Douglas helicopter? Wow. The state of Kentucky is trying to unload this chopper to raise some money. Bill Angrick. Chairman and CEO of Liquidity Services Incorporated sets up these online auctions. And I got to tell you, Bill, I, I'm just taking a guess here, but I think business is booming, is it? Uh, good morning. Happy St. Patrick's Day, indeed. Our business has thrived because what we do is good government and good business. Uh, since our founding nine years ago, we've sold about a billion dollars of online government surplus for over 2,000 government agencies, ranging from small towns, major cities and state governments. Uh, today, we're working in over 40 states in the District of Columbia. Wow, business, to... bu business is booming, man, a billion dollars. Couple things for sale. This ferry boat out of Georgia sold for $117,000. We got a picture of that in a moment. We'll show it to our viewers. That sold. Uh, the helicopter out of Kentucky, it sold for $791,000. You'll see that here in a moment. The fire boat out of Baltimore, Sold for 80 grand. I think that, that's ancient. It's like 85 years old. Is it, Bill? You know, even in uh, good times, but more importantly, in, in difficult budgetary times, these high value assets cost money to insure, to store, and maintain. In each, each of these cases, these items were put up for bid on the internet. We've attracted over a million registered buyers to drive higher prices. That fireboat, the city of Baltimore listed and wanted $30,000. We got $80,000 for it. That McDonnell uh, Douglas surplus police helicopter, uh, they wanted $600,000. The auction closed at $791,000. So these are terrific opportunities for governments to raise cash, do it in a matter of days versus weeks or months, and put that capital to use to serve these agency needs. And look at you. I mean, you're helping to make more money along the way. Uh, in Virginia, there's an Arabian horse on the auction block. What's going on there? You know, I think what this really represents is that any type of, any type of item has uh, a productive use. We have small businesses and end users, including folks that would have a, a safe home for that horse, uh, that will pay good money to an agency that no longer has the space or the desire to you know, maintain that, that item. And what this also represents is really transparency. We've heard a lot from our government leaders about transparency. These online auctions are not the secret government auction that you, you have to go to a special place on a Saturday morning to find. These are all uh, this available is out online. In the open. It's online at govdeals.com, by the way, the website, G-O-V-D-E-A-L-S, govdeals.com. What's your website, Bill? Yes, uh, the parent company is uh, liquidityservicesinc.com, govdeals serves our government uh, municipal sellers you know, with about 60,000 government agencies uh, in the United States. We think this is the way of the future. Uh, we think that you know, all of these agencies are looking to you know, reduce costs and drive additional proceeds uh, during the fiscal 2009 oh, I mean, budget I season. I mean, the way you tell it, you guys are helping them make money. So, by the way, the horse starts at 50 bucks. It's the opening bid. Bill Angrick, thank you for your time. Uh, interesting twist in these our times. Our pleasure. No doubt. Thank you, Bill. Thank, Thank you. you.